This is a story I haven't told a lot of people. A personal battle that I never thought I'll share publicly. Last year, my friend Ryan and myself set out to ascend Lion's Head as fast as possible. Unknown to me, my competitive nature was about to teach me a valuable lesson about my ego. Carrying the backpack with all of our goods, water, snacks, a camera, and a 30 meter extension. Well, I was only joking about the extension. <laughs> about three quarters up, my body really started feeling the roar of lion's head. So this was the third time Ryanie had to stop and wait for me. Now, you have to understand, I'm a very competitive person. So that sucked. When we reached the top, I wasn't mad at the fact that Ryanie had one up on me, but I was disappointed in myself for the three minutes Ryanie had to wait for me. I know, it's only three minutes, but I'm competitive. And it would be the following moment that would significantly impact my perspective in life. As we enjoyed the view, I found myself justifying the fact why Ryan had to wait for me. I couldn't exactly remember what I said to him, but it was something in the lines of, yeah, you know, this backpack with all the equipment, you got quite heavy and it doesn't matter what I said. What, what matters is that I justified myself. Driving home that afternoon, something was really bugging me. And I asked myself, Franco, what's the reason you had to justify yourself there? Well, I gym, so I wanted him to think that I'm fit, that I'm an active guy, that I'm a determined guy, that I don't just give up when I'm tired, and that I push through difficult times. What would you say is the reason why you wanted him to think all of those things about you? Well, I guess I care what he thinks of me. So Franku, what do you notice now that you might have missed before? Well, if he's a friend and I care what he thinks of me, how much more don't I care what other people think of me? And that's when I came to the conclusion that the value I placed on others' opinions in my life was significantly higher than the value I placed on my own. This prompted me to set out on an expedition to conquer this insecurity. So, I decided to shave off all my hair. This took me out of my comfort zone and forced me to overcome it. By doing this, it brought me massive liberation and it made me care significantly less about other people's judgments. Although, <laughs> it's a constant journey. As you know, we have two parts to us. Your conscious, well, that's you watching this video right now, and your unconscious mind. That what you do without thinking, whether good or bad. Carl Jung, the amazing psychologist, said, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. So, I'm asking you, what is holding you back from experiencing true liberation? And what are you gonna do about it?